Yeah, it's 7.59 You know I'm paying attention to the fucking time It's channel T and I'm giving all these rhymes 8 o'clock baby! What's up everybody, it's channel T Episode 12 I'm here with the man, one of my really good friends He's a very smart individual He's very talented in the realm of music uh, He knows his way around uh, cryptography He's a very cryptic man, actually, and um, you know what? Without further ado, Mr. Sang Freud, aka Justin. Hello. How are you, man? I'm good. How are you? How are you feeling? Uh, you said this is your first podcast. Right? It is. It's my first. Dude, first I'm time just taking all life. these podcast cherries, bro. Thank this is you. Fantastic. I'm excited. No, me too, man. I appreciate you and your time. So, uh, thanks for coming, everybody. This has been a great episode. No, I'm just kidding. All right, man. So, uh, you know, first things first, I'm the realist. He's lying. But, uh, no, uh, I genuinely want to thank you for coming by. This is probably going to be a long, long episode. Probably not. We'll see where it goes. But me and Mr. Justin always have very detailed conversations, no matter the topic. Like, we'll start with one thing and, like, rabbit hole our way into, like, millions of other topics so uh, let's get into it bro why don't you give it like a little soft introduction to who you are um my name's justin um i started in music about three four years ago now um i started in uh techno and like tech house and slowly i've been progressing into more of like a idm modern modern horror Type modern horror yes <laughs> um so that's where i'm at right now um yeah hello and he also forgot to mention that he's actually an hbo star specifically excuse me specifically recruited for soft porn yeah you can, so you can catch him and uh you can follow me on instagram at sangfroid music and watch all my softcore porn at sangfroid music Yes. Awesome, bro. <laughs> so let's dive deep. Let's dive. Let's get a little jiggy on. Are you let's ready, dive. bro? I'm ready. Channel T, bro. Let me hear you say it one time. Channel T. Channel T. Oh, my God. <laughs> you guys watch that if IGTV you, video I posted. That, yeah, if you don't get that reference, go back to his feed a couple tweets. Yeah, you, you will see. You'll find it. I have a preview post, and um, it's posted on my IGTV, so you can see it on my profile. But, uh, dude, so why don't you get us, you know, started with what year you started doing music um i think it was around 2015 uh maybe mid 2016 uh i was in college for photojournalism at the time and i kind of found my interest in edm production and kind of just started focusing on my own music and learning music while i was in class so it kind of got to a point where I wasn't even paying attention to the class, and I was kind of like, "Why am Why am I paying for this?" And <laughs> were you like going into like uh, like music programs like Ableton and stuff like that, or were you just like you know reading up on how to produce and stuff like that? Um, like what started it all for you? It was actually um, Escape Twenty Fifteen. Uh, I went with a couple of friends. And I, like, happened to get split up from the group, and I, like, stumbled into, I think it was the Citrus stage at the time. I apologize. No, you're good. Citrus <laughs> stage? Um, yeah, so I went into the Citrus stage, and it was uh, Cloud Von Stroke and uh, Green Ooh. Velvet at the time, when they were doing, I think it was, like, one of their first Green... Or, uh, Laser Beam? I, yeah, I think. No, that's a, ban, ban, laser that's, beam. A, that's a Green Velvet track. <laughs> um, but, yeah, like, I just, like... Go, went in there i was like what what is this you know like what kind of music is this so that's what that's what drew me into it dude awesome yeah so like for me when i started getting into music i mean i kind of had like a background through band and stuff like that did you play any instruments or anything or was it just know. like it was cold it turkey was, yeah, like joining like the was, music field my parents thought i was like bat shit because like it was literally like i was in class and like no music education whatsoever i'm like I want to do this, you know, like, so. No, son, you know what? You need to be a photojournalist. Yeah. 
Follow um, your God-given dreams. Yeah. Damn. No, but like... Yeah, I was doing good with photography. I was enjoying it, but I don't know. I felt like I couldn't really like push myself creatively. I guess. Um, so it was it was like a different change. I guess so that's where I went. Are they that. um are they supportive? Yeah, after awesome. not at first. Um, it definitely took some proving myself. I guess. Um, but now I think we're good. Dude, that's good. So no musical background. No, are you started in 2015, 2016? Um, how did you dive into the genre that you're involved in now? Like, what did you initially start producing? I started in techno tech house, um, uh, more on the darker side of the tech house, more driving, um, driving, driving. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cruising. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dope. That dude. Yeah. My bad. I fucking phased out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like waiting for something else. I don't know why. No, dude, that's that's usually like I feel. I mean, did you? That's probably what you listened to at the time, right? Like music wise. Yeah, yeah. And that was, that was, that was like, on your because I mean, Get Real, and um, I think Get Real was like the first one that I really knew, and then I found Solomon, Nicole Mudaber, Dub Fire, um, and those are the ones that kind of like really influenced like the start of like my musical journey within that realm of EDM. Um, and then once I started going back to back with, uh, Tanner, I kind of strayed more into like that funkier side of stuff, I guess. And then after we went to EDC, I was just kind of like, I want to try something a little bit different, you know, like go a little bit faster. And then I went a little bit faster and then things just kind of like strayed even more places. Cause I realized I was like at these BPMs where I could go straight from like techno into dubstep or whatever yeah. you know so did i just want to let you know real quick <clears throat> i said said chain smokers yes and he called you dad so hi just, son shout <laughs> out uh shout out to my son asad yes if sir you, if you want to learn about um <laughs> if you want to learn about some amazon stuff go follow him uh amazon fba guy on twitter he brought the company ring from 16 million dollars on amazon to sales up to 56 million bro that's that's my son and that's his son i'm the best dad that is his <laughs> his hijo sorry i didn't mean to cut you off but no I just, you're you good know, we're, we're getting going off he gave you a heart he's giving we're getting user feedback here we're also encouraging you guys to comment whether you guys have questions <laughs> comments you know they're going to be read if you want to give mr justin your phone number and you are a female or whatever sex he finds attractive 714 Fuck, what is it? <laughs> shit. I'll give you my number. Uh, shit. <laughs> I completely forgot it. Call JG. Oh, oh, I still what, haven't, what? like, bothered to eight, memorize seven, seven, this. Cash, no. Yeah, I haven't bothered eight, to memorize seven, this. Seven, I literally have to reference it. No. It's my money, and I need it now. Extension 714-477-0950. Repeat that. 714-477-0950. In case you missed it. 714-477-0950. One more time for the dead homies. 714-477-0950. Oh, and by the way, I completely forgot, bro. I need to make a couple shout-outs. Let's do it. Shout-outs to my boys at Day One Media. They just started a podcast. It's hilarious. Their slogan is just guys being dudes. And it's exactly that. Yeah. And shout out to them. Oh, yeah. It's Good Friday. So to all my Catholic peoples, happy or merry or uh, Shabbat Shalom. Or no, uh, happy Good Friday. And for my Greek Orthodox and Coptic peoples, happy early Good Friday. Their Good Friday is next Friday. And then uh, shout out to Israel. Because it's Passover, and what Passover is, it's a Jewish holiday celebrating the liberation of the Jewish people from the enslavement of the ancient Egyptians and their Passover to the Holy Land. But they're closing all the checkpoints and all the borders between the occupied territories and Israel, which makes absolutely no sense because they're celebrating liberation while keeping millions of people enclosed in open-air prisons. So that's why I just had to cut that in real quick. I had to cut that all in real quick. So, 
Shout out to my dad. He just joined. But um, moving forward, bro. So you, you started producing techno at first and all that good jazz. So where would you say you see yourself in like five years? Like what are the goals? You know, what? why don't we lay it down like this? What are you what are your current projects that you're working on? And like, where do you see those projects taking you in a couple of years? Oh, man. Um, Some of this got too real. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes. they're good. It did. Um, uh, at the moment, I'm kind of just taking a little bit of a break. Uh, I just finished off an album. I've been like kind of in a hole for six months now. So, I mean, I'm still coming to the studio every day, kind of working on stuff, but I'm just kind of taking a little breather at the moment, I guess. So, mm-hmm. And then like, where do you see yourself in like five years, 10 years, five years? Hopefully playing festivals, um, maybe touring. I'd like to tour. Shout out to playing festivals. <laughs> I love the sound effect. That's great. Oh yeah, man. Channel T, baby. Channel no, T. I, I definitely see you going there, bro. Justin's very talented. He's actually like very like meeting this guy and then figuring out what he's about. Honestly, bro, like you like surprised me. Like you're you're like um I mean, in no negative way do I mean this. You're like an onion, bro. You have like the outside and then there's just like a labyrinth of layers, bro. <laughs> it's so beautiful you. and Thank you're you. a very great guy. Thank you. Um, I appreciate it like mr justin here for instance like uh he he leaves hidden messages everywhere all all the time bro you know Uh, um so how did you get into like cryptography and stuff like that what inspired you to start doing that um i don't know i've always had like an interest in like uh computers and whatnot ai um just different parts of like computers as a whole but um I forget what I was watching. I think it was a, a Vox video, if you're familiar with them. And it was um, how NASA sent, like, a golden disk to space. And it's just, like, this audio file and, and um, the algorithm of how to deconstruct the audio file and, de- like, decrypt it into an Im- image. And that was just kind of, like, the spark of it all for me, I guess. And then I just kind of started digging in from there. So... Damn, bro, you see me blowing clouds, you're not even going to cover, like, five more seconds for the boy, bro? I'm sorry, I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I'm awkward. <laughs> no, dude, that's awesome. Like, so you're, you, are you, like, into NASA and stuff like that? I am. Um, like, I want to hear your opinion on NASA, bro, because I have a strong opinion on NASA. I like to hear that. Um, I don't really, like, have, I'm very neutral with stuff i like what they're doing but like, is that your um, go-to source for like i mean it's probably one of the only sources it's like a fucking you can't even count yeah, five like, sources but um that's like your spacex now you're I into like, like are you, you into astronomy and stuff and like you look at nasa for pictures and like yeah um just what i see online i guess um i don't really have like a real source i guess i'm just i'm very everywhere nasa bro I feel is just a lying, lying piece of poop. I remember we were talking. Dude, about do you know this. what NASA means in Hebrew? What's that? To deceive. You can literally Google it, like wow. NASA. It's like to deceive. Google that. And even though it does stand for National Dickens. Association of Space and Adventure, or Sp- National Association of Space Arabs, <laughs> um, it also means that in Hebrew. Cryptography, bro. Hidden meanings. Dog. Yes. So that's cool. I'm into AI. I'm into all that stuff, too. As you know, I'm just stating this for the people watching because obviously they have no idea how our, you know, bond is and stuff like that. But uh, he's, he's my neighbor. I'm. Uh, yeah, he's in the studio next door. I'm right here. Yeah. Right. Hey. So he can. Uh, you might probably hear me in uh, the previous podcast in the background. I don't know. Just like do, 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 do. Uh, the thumping. Yeah. That's Justin. That's no, me. Th- um, he's going to work. That's why he's putting in work. The shouting you hear now. That's our new roommates. Uh, they're like a punk band. They're pretty dope. I don't know if they can hear that. But. No, it's probably like very faint. But they are a crazy punk band. Actually. Hopefully you should get them on here. Oh, dude. You know, one day. Maybe when I have more clout. Yeah. So I can put the punk community on. But, you know, getting back to the whole cryptography thing, like what's like your method of like, do you have, is there like many methods you use? Is there like one go to kind of like language of crypt, crypting messages that you kind of go, st- default? 
too. I'm still learning. Um, so I've definitely tried to like use as many as I can. Um, but I've also kind of like adapted my own stuff within it too as well. So yeah, there's definitely parts of me that you kind of have to figure out too as well, not just know the computer science of it, I guess. So you kind of have to know how I think, I guess. Yeah. It's just personal. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. Uh, do you, did you ever like study like forensics or anything like that to like where you're, you know, I did it. No, no, no. It's just a natural, like interest in you. Yeah. That's awesome, bro. This is anything technology. That's it cool. Really like, did you have like a strong tech background? I, had, I don't, I don't think I had any tech background actually. Just, I think I just got a, I got a computer and I think it was like, fifth grade or something we had to get it for school mm. it was just like a windows vista at the time like some little rinky dink kind of yeah. thing but i like i like started teaching myself like how to mod stuff you know like learn all this stuff i getting familiar with the machines yeah like accidentally did some stuff that i wasn't supposed to do <laughs> editing <laughs> like, the registries yeah like so you know like kind of learned my lessons and then like i kind of got into like uh, jailbreaking iphones i don't know if you remember those days. oh for sure I'm, and I'm ro sure rooting androids yeah. jailbreaking iphones all day bro. Uh, so Did, that and like the psp i didn't Did you ever you those. didn't hack no, your psp bro. no i didn't even have a PSP. shout out to the psp that that, really that thing family. came out way before it was due I remember. yeah no absolutely yo by the way we have my dad actually commented he said NASA stands for National so National Aeronautics and Space Administration, and he said not Hebrew. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, thanks, Dad. Uh, shout out Tarek's dad, Mr. Abu Zaina. Mr. Abu Zaina. Abu Zaina. Abu Zaina. Uh, Mr. Abu Zaina. Um, no, dude. Yeah, definitely. Like tech, tech is literally going to be our lives in five to ten years. How crazy is that? It's wild. That's why I'm it's, getting into this. It already is. Dude, like, we I already rely on it for everything. Dude, you know? it's like you're, we're looking at screens all day, no matter where you go. You're looking at a screen. I don't care what you're doing, whether it's work, school, passion, like you're following your dreams. You're yeah. looking at a screen. Yeah. No, regardless. You know, but I wanted to say um, I got into it like I was uh, originally a bio major and then I wanted to be like a PA or no, I wanted to be an internist. Like I wanted to specialize, get my you know phd specialized in internal medicine and i moved to pa and then i switched to business and then from business i kept business but then i'm minoring in cybersecurity, and i work in it right now so um because dude you come to realization like literally five to ten years from now where it's gonna be like screens everywhere like everything's gonna need security and shit like that everything like, will be I mean? backed up to the cloud yeah exactly yeah. everything's gonna be running on a cloud <laughs> service for sure yeah so that's why I got into it, bro. And we're going to need cybersecurity, honestly. Like, at that point, I mean, even, like, the way 5G is going and all that, like, eventually, like, we're going to need cybersecurity for Dude, our Dude, cybersecurity is going to be, like, um, like, it's going to get very personal. Like, you know what I mean? With all, like, the comp, like, the comp, yeah. nah, not complications, like, the uh, complexities of the technology coming out, like, or the complexity of the co technologies coming out. Oh, absolutely. Like, everything's getting more and more intricate, like, I feel like we're gonna have like quantum pocket like phones, bro. Oh, absolutely. I mean, like Accessing quantum different is already so small. It's just a matter of getting the like uh, hyper cooler. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. To that scale. below I mean, the like, degree, uh, the, below at, the temperature of space. At the rate, like, it's the same temperature of space to keep one of those running. I believe it's or colder. No, it is. It's minus. I forget what they use. Um, it's like minus Let twelve me look it something. Up. Let me look that up, dog. Um. But yeah, no, they're like going literally minus the vacuum of space. Um, I forget what they use to measure it. I don't, it's not Kelvin, I don't believe. It could be Kelvin. Negative 460 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 273 degrees Celsius, which is 0 0.02 degrees away from absolute zero. Oh. Damn, there's an absolute zero for temperature, bro. I guess so. How has that, we, it, has we, that been recorded? I don't know. So what? What's our zero, or zero Celsius or thirty-two degrees Fahrenheit? What would that be compared what? to like true zero? Absolute zero. Yeah. Like what's what's the difference? Between is that? um. It's not measured in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Yeah. It's measured in degrees of. I think like. Uh, 
it's like a term that describes the way like energy dissipates or energy transfer what's it called i, f I completely forget what they use it for yeah i know like i knew the i knew the word until Shit! you asked it but i know it's like it's colder than the vacuum of space dude yeah yeah uh, that sense it's insane but... quantum computers bro are gonna be everywhere they're gonna be in our on our phones they're gonna be our phones yeah no absolutely it's only a matter of time i mean you can already access a quantum computer online there's like a, a public server where you can like go on like a virtual machine yeah you can do like quantum calculations on like a, a public quantum uh, computer um if you Google that, you can probably find something if you want to look into that, if you're interested. Dude, what? Yeah, it's a... Uh, I forget who does it. It's a, um, it's a non-profit organization, um, but you can do, like, quantum calculations, um, run it all real-time on a quantum computer just over a server. <laughs> yeah, just, just over a server, bro. Yeah, you can access fucking quantum realities. But, I mean, like, that's, that's how technology is going, you know? Like, it's... You can already do that, literally, from, like, Dude, it's getting iPhone, scary, you know? scary Virgin Mary. You know that lyric? No, I don't, but I like it. Is it Drake? Yeah, it's a Drake lyric. Why are you smiling, bro? Me? Yeah, am I funny? Is he funny? Your no, have, absolutely not. Have, have they seen Ali? Do you know what Ali looks like? They know who Ali looks like. Yeah? yeah. They know what Ali Come say like. hi. No, no. He, you want to come around, peek around? Fuck! Hey, be nice, bro. No, you're not. Hey, get in more. This is Ali. Oh. I can't see. Actually, because I'm, I'm behind. So it's like. How are we doing? Do you have any, like. There you go. Yeah. What's up, buddy? <laughs> That's my cousin. We're both wearing white, dude. I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm not wearing white. I'm dude, wearing, orange. wearing white on your shirt. On my shirt? No, I'm not. Hey, everybody. How's it going, everybody? It's my cousin, everybody. How you doing? Hey everybody, that's my cousin. Everybody, that's my cousin. Everybody, how you doing? All right, <laughs> you got it, let's continue. You got so, it, goofy. Um, aside from the whole quantum tech, I, I want to say that for later, bro. I yeah, get into but, it, yeah, you know? we'll get that. We'll get back to that. So, tell me, bro, you've been working on this album. Yes. What is the due date? Um, Release date. We're well, it's still TBA. I'm still working on that. Um, it's completely done. Um, I have one label that I really have in mind. I don't want to. I don't want to speak. No about. names. No face. Yeah, no no case. No, no fames. No. No fames. No names. No faces. Um, Tannel T. Tannel T. Tune in. Um, <laughs> but I want to say hopefully within two to three months. Because uh, if. They, they're not interested, and I'm just going to put it out on my own label. Dude, if they're not interested, you let me know. Give me a phone <laughs> number. Dude, I will wreak havoc. Give me their customer service line. Give me the number of the CEO, bro. It's uh, 696969. 6969. Crazy, bro. Why are you so crazy, bro? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so uh, he's waiting on a label, guys. Yes. Sorry, I couldn't get a better answer. Um, but that, that's what yeah. I, I don't. I don't want to put any spoils out just in case. Um, just in case they happen to watch this too. So I mean, at least they know I only have one label in mind. So yeah. Shout out to you. If you're watching. Uh, yeah, <laughs> dude. Yes, Mr. Justin is a credible young man. Very smart. Very intelligent. He has. Um, quite the uh essence to him and you know we appreciate his talents here in santa Ana. so if i'm gonna vouch for anybody bro it's anyone who produces music in this studio okay. i mean even this studio because we have yeah. some we have two bright individuals yeah um ollie he was on previous one i don't know what number he was on he's number um, two was he oh he was number two yeah. wow um yeah we share a studio next door uh he's incredibly talented too i've i've seen him grow Oh, for sure, amount, bro. Just in like the little time I've known him too, so that's cool. Um, so yeah, that's unfortunate because you know we want to hear your music, bro. Yeah, um, dude, um, can I play some tracks? Yeah, we we have some. We can we can go right now. Cool.
714-477-0950. Call it. One sec, one sec, guys. I'm sorry I'm pulling it up. But I just want to make sure it's, it's going good. It's pulling it up. What am I hearing? Is that what <laughs> I just hear whispering right now. Here we go. What are you saying, bro? You're whispering? <laughs> what? Don't, don't, don't do that to me. <laughs> All right, here, this is called t Touch featuring Danny. Yes. That was weird. Oh, maybe it was just my music really quiet. I heard something really weird. Huh? Yeah. Yo, turn it up a little bit. So this is called Touch Guys featuring Danny. Cheers, bro. Oh my god, that was so lovely. <laughs> this is my first time hearing this song, by the way. I just realized we're still like on camera. I've been making awkward faces this whole time. I apologize. <laughs> Shout out Puppy or Danny if she's watching this. Um, her at is. Her at is Danielle Marie. M oh, sorry. Danielle M. Dallas. At Damia Daniel. <laughs> at Danielle M. Dallas. Um, if you're watching, hello. That's it. Shout out Danny! Shout out Danny! Posted six days ago, guys. This song was posted six days ago! What? It says posted six days ago. It's private though, right? No? Huh? It's po it's private though, right? Oh, is it? Oh, maybe. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It just oh, says. Oh, you scared me. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, oh, is this private, dude? I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, it's all private. Thanks, links. bro. I don't you guys are getting a sneak peek that. then. Yeah, yeah, you should have told me. All, I didn't even know. No, yeah, this is all sneak peek. <laughs> sneak peek material. Is this you the new album? Yeah. I thought you weren't even sending me that link, bro. Yeah, no, I, I was I was trying to... Dude. I would send you some songs. Dude. It's cool. I'm down to play a couple songs. Gotta let them know what Get a lot of for. this guy, huh? Huh? But if you're interested, it's over two hours, so... Yeah. Yeah. We won't be playing two hours of it tonight. 
but fantastic just a few, track, bro. Few fantastic track. Thank you. Featuring Miss Danny. Miss Danny, yes. So. <laughs> Next track is uh, called. Give me one second. Yeah, that's one. I'm, I'm curious. Drum roll. Next song is called "The Password." Take notes, please. I think this is the one you were freestyling on. At oh no way! Should I freestyle to it? Oh yeah! I, I think I think this me is and the Ali, one. Yeah. yeah, I think this is the one. I think. Dude, well, say no mas. Do you think you saw us when we were up there? You, no, you sent me the, 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 the recording. The recording. Yeah, they took a voice memo of it. Maybe I'll put it as an extra somewhere. <laughs> For y'all. I sent you that voice memo? No. I'll send it to you. Yeah, I'll do something with it. I think it. it's on, it was on my phone, yeah. I'll do something with it. I love my voice memos. Yeah, we were going in, bro. Straight up. Like, we were freestyling to this shit. Hardcore. <laughs> Still, big tops. Let's see, do it okay. for your head top. I want to see what you can do with your freestyle. Material. Big things, big things. <laughs> Mad gal or bad gal, bad thing. Like, uh, oh, bump it up a little bit, bro. I think this is the one. I think it is. Like, I don't, I don't remember for sure because it was like really quick, and you showed me when there was like still music playing. Should I freestyle on it? Do it, yeah. I want to see what you got. X-ray hotel two with X. X-ray uniform <laughs> hotel delta. X-ray hotel two with X. X-ray two Quebec. Two Quebec. So X H two Q. You don't want to give them too many secrets. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Let it cook. Let it cook. I see the sound waves, bro. I'm gonna match this. <laughs> T up with Z, and I'm getting this shit for free. Going real ham on channel T, and we got five dollars to my name because I spent all my money. All my future fame, you know it's T up with Z, no really. You know it's organic, always so heavy with the nutrients, with the sustenance. You know I'm giving all these ladies the nutrients. Yeah, bounce it up and down. You know we don't have time to frown. Got the password going up and we're going downtown for hacking all these bank servers. We be frown, crown, town, down, drown, crown. Town. I think I said that one. X-ray's going up cause my body needs a check in. Your boy T always stay here and he reppin'. Downtown Santa Ana where our studio. Come through and get a load, yo. Yeah, okay. The password, what you wanna say. You can't get it. You are lame, yeah. It's like two characters though. But like, it's F you, 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 it's F you. That's the password. Check it real clear. That's what you are a bird in the steer. <laughs> no, it's just, bro, I didn't want to ruin the song. You're good. I don't think this is the one. It's it's gotta be it, it's you know beautiful. like that way people can't bootleg it you know like 
at least like if they bootleg it, it's got your vocals over it, so. But I feel like I'm in Ibiza. Thank you. And this is like what you hear at like 1 p.m. when everyone's twisted. You know what I'm saying? I gotta feel it. Everyone's there just ready to get slaughtered by this track, bro. <laughs> Literally didn't know they're getting lit to a password. Listen up, y'all, cause this is it. The beat that I'm spinning is delicious. Fuckalicious definition make the boys go crazy. And on the panel, now I'm down, then I'm found a fan. I'm the F to the E R. Shout out channel T, and I'm going real in, cause I got it real, and I'm tired delicious. I'm so delicious. Halal only kosher for my Jewish bitches. Oh, that was clean, bro. On the password, dog. That's the password. <laughs> That's the password. Kosher only. Can we get a can we get a uh, yeah, foghorn? Yeah, yeah. Kosher only for my Jewish bitches. <laughs> Smack the foghorn ass. Smack it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and we do actually have one more song for you guys. I just thought I'd throw that out there. Yeah. Because obviously those two were deliciously fire. Thank you. And uh yeah, so we're gonna add to the fire. We're throwing we're throwing logs. We're 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 dumping Ooh, we're dumping way, logs please. into the fire. Yeah. This is called yeah. for Yumi. And this is not the father and Sang Freud, Mr. Justin. Yes, I don't. I don't believe not the father has a, um, a, a Twitter, but I know his Instagram is underscore not the father. Uh, he's on Dirty Bird. He's a homie. The so Dirty Bird. He comes through a lot. Um, he's on Dirty Bird's label. Birdie Dirt. Birdie Dirt. Birdie Dirt is the word. Fought Natather. Natather. Fought the Nader. Fought the Nader. Fought the Nader and Fangs Freud. Do you know what my DJ name is? G Day Double Z. Oh no. <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't know. <laughs> it's Tank Dekno. I like that. Tank Dekno. And then That's Dek is spelled D E C K. Dek. That's hard, bro. That is That's pretty hard. That's not fucking hard, bro. <laughs> so. You better get that trademarked. We'll you talk got, after. Like, we'll talk after. We'll I don't talk know after. how many people are watching this. We'll talk after. No, we got six people. <laughs> no, actually. No. no. We got more? Yeah, more. There's more. Sick. Shout out to everyone watching. Hello. Bro, six people? That's fucked up. <laughs> no, I'm just you thought there's six people in here only, bro? I don't know. I, I don't see Do the numbers. You know what channel this is, bro? I'm playing your track, and then you go ahead and say there's six people watching, bro. Bro, your mind can't even guess how many guests we have watching us right now. 69. Okay, okay, Who invited this guy? This is a fire. I believe you did. Thank you. No, I did. I did. I did invite you. Do you have any we're, effects to my voice? Where did you cut my mic? Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. We're mean to each other, fingers. so it's okay. Dude. Yo, bump it. Yo. Yeah. Disco, disco, go, go, disco, disco, go, go, disco, disco, go, go, disco, disco, go, go.
Wait, we gotta, we gotta do the YMCA. Dude, what is that from? Huh? Look at you, looking at me, looking at you. Is that from something? Yeah, that's from something. Is it? I don't know. Like, I was like thinking about it, and like when we were in this, like when we were over there working on it, I was like, has this like has this been used? Like, I like it sounds familiar to me, but like I don't know if it's been used or not. Like, no, if, dude, that is uh, from, that's that's awesome. I I love this track though. Thank you. Yeah, if someone knows where if that's from, if it's from something. Send it to me. I want. I want to hear what it's from. Like, I. It might be something from my subconscious. You know, like. It definitely sounds very familiar to me to, too. So like, I yeah, know. I know what you're out. saying. Like, it was very familiar to me. That's why I had to ask. It's like a scene where it's like, looking at me, looking at you, yeah. looking at me, looking at you, yeah. looking at me, looking at you. Yeah. You know, like, I know you know. I know you know. I know I know you know. You know, like, it's like that kind of a thing. Anti club club club. Anti club club club. Pause the music. Thank you. Play the music. I found it. Pause the music. What was it? Looking at me, looking at you. Play. Can you can you like airdrop that to him so you can play it? I wanna I wanna hear it. What is it? Was that a rock song? I don't think so, bro. It was like a show or a movie. I don't know. Like, I just like I for know. Me, like, I mean, like, like what I from what I remember, it's it was like a bit like a scene from like a movie or a TV I show. Mean, I don't know. Like, I just I know it's like super. It like it sounds super familiar. Shout out to me, looking know? at like, me, looking at you, looking at you. <laughs> oh, that was good timing. <laughs> Didn't even know you could do that. Oh, <laughs> I was off. I was off. I was off. I was a zero. Did you get that? You were zero? I was off. I was zero. Oh. Uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> like binary? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, zeros and ones, bro. You don't fucking understand bro. zeros and ones, bro. Our whole life is dictated by fucking... <laughs> Dude, if you look into the corpse of your pineal gland, bro, you'll fucking get into the vision of zeros and ones, bro. It's fucking crazy. It's zero, zero, one, it's zero, actually, one, one, zero. It's actually wild. Dude, I was in San Clemente, bro. I was going down the 5 freeway, bro. And then I ended up off the shore on PCH. Was it 33rd Street? Dude, 33rd Parallel, bro. Right on the 33rd fucking Parallel, dude. You fucking understand that, bro? Bro. <laughs> and dude, I just fucking saw zeros and ones, bro. It was like the Matrix and shit, bro. I was like bro. fucking lost, bro. Shout out. Dude, zero, I could play zero, a fucking zero, OC one, boy. One, I'm sorry, I could play an OC boy. Yeah, uh, yeah, you, yeah. Dude, like, fuck, bro. You didn't go to Sharky's last Saturday, bro, dude. Sigma, <laughs> Sigma Phi Delta Epsilon was there, bro, and they just laid it down, dude. They had. They were fucking shotgunning. Dude. They were shotgunning Belvedere bottles, Dude, bro. Dude, no way. Do you know Belvedere bottle size, bro? It's like this big, bro. They were bro. shotgunning a vodka <laughs> bottle, bro. How do you shotgun glass, bro? Dude. Without injuring, without <laughs> injuring yourself, without cutting your lips, bro. You're, they're literally shotgunning glass, bro. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> or dude, we went to Mastros after South Coast Plaza, bro. Dude, it was like we had to take Baker all the way down. It took about like 20 minutes after we hit the 405, exited Bristol Street, bro. But we had to make a turnaround because my boy left his jewel and his skimboard back, bro. Who the hell does that, you know? So after we laid it down, after we crushed some skimboards, you know, we went to Mastro's because we're hungry, bro. You know, so we exited Bristol off the 405. And, dude, my boy didn't even lay down the reservation at the right Mastro's, bro, because the Mastro's in Newport Beach is the one with our reservation. So we went to the one in Costa Mesa, bro, right by South Coast Plaza. And, dude, it was just, like, stellar, bro. They had no idea who we were. They told us our reservation was down there. 
in uh, Newport Beach, bro. So we had to take the 405 to the 55, take it all the way down. We didn't want to take the 133 or the 73 because the toll road, bro. My boy also forgot his fast track and his mom's Huracan. Yeah, so we laid it down, bro. We went down to PCH. Dude, I'm fucking over it. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I can I almost switched it up to country, bro. You were doing good. That was like going. Like, I made eye contact with the camera a couple of times. That was good. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to, bro. I'm just laying it down. Laying it down for the boys, bro. Dude, do you love your homies more than I love my homies, bro? I don't think so. I don't bro. think so, bro. <laughs> Dude, you didn't even burn, bro. No. <laughs> Where does it go from here? We don't I don't know. No comment. <laughs> uh, no, um, there's no segue. Do we have any questions? <laughs> this is just where it just gets laid down, bro. Because <laughs> it'd be like that sometimes. It'd be like that sometimes. But, yeah. um, okay, you know, I know how to bridge this. So your music, dude, is very <laughs> unique. And I've honestly, you know, I, that's what I was trying to mention earlier. Like your taste and like your vision, I feel is just like unmatched and it's and it's forming its own like taste. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, where like what avenues can you take to like kind of bring that sort of taste? Like what? How do you how do you go about introducing like, I, I don't want to call it experimental, but, like, how do you go about introducing that kind of, like, flavor to people? Do you um, just, how do you introduce, like, you tell them it's, like, tech house, you tell them it's techno, uh, you tell them oh, it's, geez. like, a uh, mixture of, it's just, like, hey, yeah, let's listen to this shit. Lately, it being fire. It, originally, it started out as just, like, more experimental techno, but the album, as you can hear, was a little bit everywhere. Um, well, I mean, I only played one of, like, the more experimental bass songs, the other... The other one, what was this? Oh yeah, the two, the other one was more experimental techno as well, and then yeah. the third one was more of like the take it like the classic tech house side, uh, which was the collab with not the father, 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 excuse me. But um, yeah, so I mean, like, I don't know. Lately, it's been a little bit of everywhere, so I'm just trying to find like ways to make people relate with it so that way they can just kind of almost understand understand the experimental side of it but yeah no because it's hard dude introducing your own like if when you separate yourself from everybody and like you have that distinct taste flavor image whatever it may be it's 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 i'm not saying it's hard to distinguish yourself it's just hard to like employ that into what's already built what's already absolutely. like said you know yeah. you're not following no, a trend absolutely. you're not producing it I mean, you, you t technically are trying to start a new trend yeah but, no absolutely you know? that is that is what i'm trying so to i do feel like dude more. that's the one thing artists nowadays kind of struggle with it's like everyone is kind of forming their own which is dope everyone's forming their own sound their own mm -hmm. flavor and stuff like that and they're having a hard time getting it out there because one dude shout out to the friends that you have that know you do all this shit, but like don't retweet or like don't post or don't like. No. You know, it's like, dude, th that that goes a, a long way because it could be yeah. like th there's six degrees of separation between you and the person you need to meet. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it all starts with the the network, the community. A simple, a simple retweet. So like, you, you already have that too. problem, and then like, you know, some people are starting off like, you know, they might not have the money or the resources to promote or advertise and stuff like that, or they might not have the connections necessary to get a gig somewhere. So yeah. it's hard, bro. Shout it out to is. all the artists like you yeah. and like, you know, everyone putting their own taste or flavor or spin on something. It's hard to get it out there, bro. It is. No, you know, it is. so that's what I want to commend you for. And all the homies in here, man, like straight up, like, everyone's so creative and like, you know, pushing a great like uh, effort, effort towards getting their tastes out there. Mm -hmm. So, dude, I mean, I hope that label picks you up, man. I know. I know they dude. will, dude. I know they will. I hope so. Fingers crossed. Shout out that label. I wish we could name them. Me too. I wish we could name them. Me too. Yeah. I wish I could be like well, rhymes coming with out on right now on now on all streaming platforms. Yeah. Mr. Sang Freud. So all right, bro. Lay it on me. What are you itching to talk about right now? Tech wise. What's what's been what what have you been researching lately? Cause I think we're pretty caught up, oh, you man. and I, like with when with our tech talk. So you bring up something you've been researching. Oh, man. Cause we actually talk and hang out guys. Yeah. 
I'm trying to think because like we literally just hung out like not yesterday like the day before yeah, so something I mean, like, like it hasn't been too much change um but I mean I guess we can like feed into a, a bit more about that uh how everything is gonna just be kind of backed into the cloud I guess because uh dude was, it's like, so crazy I was wa- I was just my uh, whole I'm sorry go ahead oh no you're chilling you're chilling bro <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah I was watching something today about like those like um ancestry or the 23 and me spits or whatever and how like all that like information is like almost like public and uh, Did they report it to the fbi yeah so um that like it's like becoming like a grown like registry of like uh just dna you know um and it was like saying like you only need like two percent of like a dna to really like go back and like oh, wow. trace something back like that so like I that's no why there's, yeah so i mean there's a uh, country or country states already like banning it but um yeah i had like banning like dna tests yeah they don't want them that done just because like the privacy and all that um i didn't really realize anything about oh to where like well because in what sense though because like is that does that mean like they're making medical records pri- uh public and stuff like almost that, or, yeah like, like it's becoming well not getting the that, dna from, like, like medical the, like we were saying with the cybersecurity stuff is like there's just this ever-growing database of dna samples in this one spot you know like that's that can be potentially accessible information you know so i mean like you only needing two percent to like really trace back things like it's just like it really does like almost invade a lot of so privacy the, the laws are sense. like re- prohibiting people from signing to sign up for these websites and yeah. stuff like that yeah. oh what or like, um, like banning those websites in those states yeah just because like they don't like that essential like bre- breach in privacy or what well dude honestly if you think about it all of our dude google is a data mining like entity bro so they basically have your like virtual dna like with every search every yeah. like yeah, tab everything. open every location every you. uber <laughs> bro you know uber makes most of their money from selling user data Jeez. like where you like how like what roads are most traveled yeah like what destinations are most like you know what I mean? So people can put up billboards and like advertisements and stuff like that. I wonder if Waze does something like that too. I'm sure yeah. Waze does it yeah. too. Waze, imagine, Google, Google like, bought Waze. Oh, but yeah, Waze probably. actually was created by two Israeli guys. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, bro. Um. So that's that, dude. The thing is, though, like with the DNA stuff, I want to do it so bad Same. because, dude, my Palestinian homie did it. Dude, he's his lineage is from Sardinia, like Italy, like near oh, Italy, shit. you know, like an island. I think it's an island. I'm not sure. It's like it might be a part of Italy, but it's like, dude, you know, but the thing is too, like not all of like I feel like the database for like because no one gives a shit about excuse my French. No one gives a shit about the Middle East or Arabs. Anything like that. So like all these DNA websites and ancestry websites and stuff like that, dude. It's like honestly for people with roots in America or like Europe, you know what I mean? Because like that's I guess I'm not saying they have like stronger recorded history because dude, like you know we have a really rich history, but um, I feel like it's just like they don't have enough info to like give me a full DNA report other than like Middle Eastern yeah. or whatever, <laughs> like this location. Beep. That's it. But I want the whole thing. Bro. I want to know yeah. like. Like the anti club club club. I want to know like my dad's dad's dad dad's dad's dad, yeah. grandpa. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm into that whole thing, bro. I love family trees and yeah, stuff like no, that. Yeah, no, same. Like it's it's interesting. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, I don't know, man. Like it, we've just we're just coming to a point like in society to where all, we don't really own anything that's ours except maybe our like our dignity. All of our thoughts are online. We tweet them. We Facebook oh, them. Oh, yeah. We Instagram them. All of our pictures are in ours. All of our memories are recorded on a phone now. You, dude, every concert you go to, everyone's holding up a phone recording, not enjoying the moment. You know what I mean? I hate phones, bro. I swear I hate phones, dude. I want to go back to, like, the 80s. To when you actually go out, bro, like, you're socializing with people. Like, if you want to talk to a girl, you have to go somewhere. Or, like, you have to, like, call her house phone to, like, meet her up or something like that. Go knock on her door. Talk to her parents. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we're, we're just, all these barriers have changed and stuff like that. And it's, it's, I mean, times change, bro. That's how it is. Like, I mean, people weren't comfortable maybe with like the automobile being a thing, you know, but 
I just feel like now it's more so invasive rather than like um what's the word uh for uh in- innovative. It's more invasive than innovative, no doubt. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like before it's like, "Oh, cool, that shit came out. Like that can help me do this, 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 this." Now it's like, "Oh, dude, I need to get the new iPhone because I can scan my face and like it's waterproof and like I can Not only that, like it's just like a lot of this could be done with firmware updates, you know? Like it's not even like they're just like moving a couple components around inside, calling it innovative, and literally just re- regurgitating the same thing. Did you know what's crazy too, though? Update. Like these phones, these models that we okay, like the new iPhone coming out this year, technically it was probably already finished like years ago. It went through like stages of approval, went through stages of like military approval, because dude, the military gets everything before we do. Yeah. Hey, bro, my dad had a job with the Air Force at the LA Air Force Base. Uh, he was using the internet ten years before anybody, bro. Like the World Wide Web came out twenty years ago. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's mm. like that's crazy to me, bro. And you know the internet itself, like, dude, literally, like eighty percent of the internet is the dark web. Yeah, we can't. Or even I think it's like ninety five percent. Yeah, like bro. the the main internet is like literally just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, the dark net. There's even more past the dark net. There's like a dark net. And then there's I don't I don't remember what it's called. It's like deep deep web. Or it goes by like zones, so it's like it's like um like user dark web, and then it's like government, and then it's like military. Yeah, like there's secret, super secret, super super secret. Yeah, like it's like almost like a, they have like their own servers, like literally yeah. their own internet or something. Mm-hmm. You know, isn't that crazy? It internet is. to me is crazy, bro. I want to make my own internet. Like, like, dude, someone, someone somewhere at some time was like, hey, if you put this material together with this material it makes a motherboard and then you connect yeah. components and you solder them on to the motherboard and it becomes a full fucking computer it's yeah no like that's the or it becomes internet that's the part that really like drew me to the technology aspect of it is like we take all that like so for granted like you know like we use these like pieces every single day but all it is is literally just like little pieces of mechanics inside some of them not even moving like lately like don't a lot of them don't even move anymore you know so it's just like it's crazy that something like that can do so much dude it's wild know? like dude at jackson tree that like cube yeah that was cool it was uh that was cool. ra- raspberry pis running windows 10 or like uh it was raspberry pis running the service of like the, the is satellite internet? I guess I wish I met the guys, bro. Yeah, Vadi was kind of explaining it to me. Like what? What? It's it two was. Raspberry Pis. Yeah, it's a Windows 10 interface. They used um. And there's a cell phone they plug in via USB. It's just like an and dude, it had a liquid cooling system, bro. Yeah, that was it was crazy. Two fans and um, a liquid cooling system. Can I you wish pull I could, up pictures, dude. Honestly, like me, I know uh, that gets on their Facebook. I unfortunately but, cannot. And yeah, like it was cool. I know it's like a. They were using a cell phone's like I can and, like amplifying. Yeah, it. exactly. Yeah. So no, it was being broadcasted off that cell phone, bro. It wasn't being amplified. That, no, the cell phone hosted the service. Oh wow. Yeah, that's crazy. It was because it was cellular. It was ce- purely cellular. Wow. So like the the Raspberry Pi yeah. served as like the satellite, kind of like I guess like pushing the waves out, dude. Raspberry, um, bez, raspberry, blah, raspberry pies are so sick. Dude, there's literally a plate. So I forgot the name of the plate. It's like a crazy scientific name. But like in that. So essentially what was at my brother's festival was like these guys came out and set up a, like a see through cube. It was like a glass cube with like LED lights on the sides and shit on the, on the edges. And inside was like this computer. And so there's this like metal like material, dude. I don't know what kind of metal it is. I forgot. But that's responsible, bro, for like bouncing the waves off the chips and like what or whatever sends the waves out like the circuit board it, it, it like reflects it like pings the metal and like broadcasts you know what i mean so That's i have a friend wild. bro i have a friend who works on cell towers he's my friend's cousin and um he was talking about how when he goes to service these things bro he has to literally like um unfortunately he has to like detach that metal to like get to certain things and dude from then on it's just straight migraines to the dome bro Cause like those waves are just bouncing everywhere and stuff, and like it's going straight to his head. Yeah, isn't that crazy, bro? Yeah, that's like the thing with like five G. I right? swear to God, yeah, I was about like, to bring that up. Yeah. What do you feel about that five G stuff, bro? I don't know. Like I, I thought it was kind of cool at first, but then like uh, we were talking. About, oh, like, we talked health, about it. Yeah, like, I remember. Health, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you had no idea, dude. Yeah. So like, dude, did you do uh, research been, into it? Yeah, at all, I was or? looking into it a little bit more after all that, but 
Yeah, so after that, I don't, I don't know, you know? I mean, only time will really tell with that, you know? Maybe coincidence, I don't think so, but. Dude, I, I, honestly, I'm sure, okay, because have you heard of the comp the Chinese company, like Huawei? Yeah. Huawei? Of course. How it's, like, banned in America now, and, like, they're banning it. That. So, essentially, Donald Trump banned people from purchasing services from this company because, um, I guess, like, they're the only, like, clean 5G out there. Hmm. So, you know what? I want to look it up, but I don't want to get too, like, uh, I don't want to misconstrue the information, but it's it's something to deal with, like, that company kind of, like, explained how 5G is dangerous. And oh, all these yeah. Western countries are like, you know what? No one can buy your shit here anymore, all right? You shut the fuck up. And then dude, they... But it's going to make billions and billions and billions. Billions and billions and billions. Yes. So, yeah, that's bro. That's why we have it. That's, that's what happened, dude. And it's just like, dude, they're really trying... Because here's the thing with 5G. Like I was telling you before, it's like the Internet of Things, right? So it's going to be connecting like all these devices together, like your fridge... It's gonna make dishwasher. Entire, yeah, it's gonna make the entire world like at risk of yeah hackability. And dude, they're already working on pushing out six G, which <laughs> is like Internet of Things. So Internet of Things basically co uh, connects every device yeah together like and stuff right cars six G yeah six G it talks to like I guess connects the satellites to all these devices, something huh. really weird, something very intricate, bro, but it's already on the verge of like coming out like pretty soon after 5g well, i remember that's how it was in the beginning too like when the first iphones were coming out first it was like the 1g then that next year the next model came out it was like 2g and then 3g 4g and then we just kind of sat at 4g for a minute there and then yeah it's been 4g for a while yeah i'd say since like the iphone 5 i think it, no it was the 4 because the they, four, they yeah. rolled them out around the same time so like the iphone 1 had 1g the iphone 2 had 2g i believe there might be one model. Dude, back, imagine 69G, bro. Oh. Wow. Shit. 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 Ah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no, man. And the thing about the Internet of Things, it's really cool in, in, in retrospect. Retrospect. What? We're both talking. I think it's us hearing. Like I, that's what's messing yeah, me no, up. I, I, I hear you know, myself, and it messes me up. It happens, bro. It it do it do be, It'd like, be that. like that. It be like it that really sometimes. be do like that. But so, dude, you know every so there, uh, KB Homes or was it Lennar Homes? One of the two. Like these companies, they build like cookie cutter homes, like suburb cities, like suburb okay. neighborhoods, that type of shit. Dude, every single new home being built is being like ran with Alexa. Like everything is Alexa. How do you feel about it? Amazon's basically taking over dude, each home? I saw, yeah, dude. No, at how do you Nam, feel about that, bro? It's kind of it's know. cringy, bro. It is no, like at what'd Nam you do a smart year. home? Would you get your home home all smart fitted? Uh, I don't know, dude. I so would, but like on my know. own VPN or something. Yeah, you know? like I'd start. I, I'd connect everything <laughs> myself. Like there's no way, dude. Because like think about it. Like they can trap you in your home, bro. Like they can keep your door locked and shit. Yeah. Like, but I mean, not only that, if Amazon or like your phones are listening, like. That's just like a twenty four seven like word feed and like advertisements. Data collections. Yeah. Um but I don't know, like I think it is kind of ridiculous. Like I was at NAM this year and they had a Roland keyboard with Alexa built into it. And it's just like I don't know, to me I was kinda of laughing at it. It's just like Why? Yeah, oh, you know Alexa, like, type me a five hundred word essay on the Mongolian conquest of the Middle East. Yeah, well, like, while I play the piano, you know, like it's it was kind of yeah. it was, I don't know, like that was just kind of like okay, dude. Maybe, I feel yeah. like they're making. You've seen Wall-E, right? Yeah, the Pixar movie. movie. Is it Pixar? It is Pixar. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love that movie. Dude, I feel like we're one hundred percent moving that way, bro. America's already okay. The amount of, I've said this on my last podcast or the podcast before, dude. The amount of resources Americans consume, if the whole world was consuming resources at the same rate, we'd need four and a half Earths. Jeez. So, like, that's why we're trying to go. To America's space. already. With that said, America has the most obese population, in my opinion, the stupidest population. We've we've moved down the ranks of like the happiest population. You know what I mean, dude? Yeah. We're we're just like bound to be in like hover chairs, like at like five hundred pounds, bro. Yeah. Or even more, bro. It's disgusting, bro. I don't. know. What was that movie, bro? It's an old movie, bro. This guy's like in the military 
and the military is like experimenting with like uh like freezing bodies and like preserving them so they can like rehatch in like like way future time i don't know what you're talking about i'm trying what to was say. the movie i just uh just i literally just talked about it the other day i i know what you're talking about i don't remember the name of it it has a funny name but anyway bro so it's like this guy gets frozen and he wakes up like a certain amount of years later I'd say like 3,000. Yeah. Not in the year 3,000. And dude, the whole population is fat. They're horny. They're stupid. And they just spend all their money on food. And like, they're, dude, they're all like fat fucks who like literally sit in front of their TV. Like, the TV's like, it's like AI TV and shit like that. And like, um, they sit in front of their TV, eat all day, bro. They have like a, to they're sitting on a toilet. Dude, it's just so funny, bro. It's just really ridiculous. And it's like, I definitely see. All, it's like predictive predictive programming in a way, you know. Like I definitely see all of us moving towards that direction. Yeah, it's already kind of become that way with a lot of these things like that. I mean, we're already trying to leave the planet too, you know. Like, dude, I mean, okay, leaving the planet—that's badass. Like, it my, is. No, it is. In my opinion, but I mean, it is. But <clears throat> what? Do you, okay, like we already have so much space waste. Like, the entire atmosphere is just. Dude, I don't think so, bro. They say that, like, okay, like, the zoom out of, like, the Earth and it's, like, all the satellites and shit, right? Space junk. Dude, I don't know, man, because honestly, if it was, if that was the case, bro, we'd have a hard time seeing space from here, like, stars and shit when you go to the desert and stuff like that. But the thing is, they're, they're within the same range as our satellites. So, like, it's not like they're blocking. The stars? The, no, the, um, uh, the space, the junk. That's floating No, I'm talking about the, the, Wait, the junk is about? the satellites. Oh, like dude, there's so. Have you seen that picture? It's like there's so many. I can send it to Ali right now. There's so many. Yeah, I'm curious. He could probably pull it up. There's so many like satellites and shit that like our whole. If you look at Earth from like the moon or something, it looks like there's a bunch of shit around Earth, like in our orbit. Yeah, but I don't think so, because if that was the case, where we'd be seeing a bunch of fucking satellites at night, or like you know, that is true. You know yeah. what I'm saying, bro? I don't think it's. I don't think it's to that level. Just like overpopulation, bro. Overpopulation I mean, like, is a fucking it's so dark Re Resource wise, too. maybe, but like land wise and shit, no. I mean, I could see like the point, like with the blinking lights, but I mean, what if some of them aren't blinking? You know, it's like they're so, you know, like they're probably or even like, like, like we're, okay, like they're room, the know? light, the yeah. light sources in space, bro. I mean, like, dude, if there's a satellite, definitely see some sort it's of gonna reflection. reflect yeah. some sort of light, like no matter what. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I was gonna ask you uh, from like the whole AI shit. Like transhumanism, are you familiar with that? No. So it's I'm like not, incorporating no. like uh, the fusion of humans and like computers. Oh, so like biohacking. Sure. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's uh, like cyborg shit. Yeah, biohacking. Yeah. Okay. You haven't heard? You know, biohacking I never, I'm not familiar is? with no. that. No. Oh wow. Um. Yeah, that's like an actual thing right now. Um. There's like a big trend. Uh, like the neurotropics, all like the, um whatever it is like human enhancement um they're doing on, like there's a lot of people studying like uh biohacking which is like incorporating machine with the body like essentially like you said cyborg shit uh -huh. dude i mean like it'd be like that sometimes it, you know it I mean? really do i mean why not we got the technology i, I would like do you, do you are you in support of that do you like that do you are you with it? um yes and no um I'm intrigued with it. Like, I definitely, like, I definitely see, like, the benefits of it. But at the same time, like, we already have problems with, like, data, you know? Like, we're already trying to protect our data. Do we really want to, like, give Getting our body... Getting your body hacked. Yeah, do you really want to, like, give away your body to Getting the your biohacked body hacked. Yeah, so, I mean, like... In a shack under a jack? I don't know. Like, it definitely, with no like... Tax? Yes. <laughs> I, I, I'm against it, bro. I'm not against. Yeah. Okay, like I, I like it. I Some love, of it, I like. It. I think it's. Cool, I would never but... do it. Me personally, I would never. I wouldn't put a chip in me. I won't do shit. I, w I love the idea of technology, but like more so from like a user standpoint rather than being the technology. Yeah. You know what I'm no, saying? Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't know. Like I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, like I definitely see some of the benefits i mean not so much with like the biohacking part but i'm mean, like the what is it, the cochlear implants and all that just like using like machine to help with the human life or like the heart uh what is it the, the pacemaker and whatnot yeah yeah, yeah, yeah exactly you know, like, exactly 
I feel like there's definitely points of it that if there's can advantages. Be yeah, there's definitely there's there's its advantages, um, but making your body almost open source, I don't I don't know how I feel about that. You know, like let me run this Python script yeah, on Jerry real quick. Yeah, yeah Jerry's over there yeah. watching move. He's gonna move right now. He was like all of a sudden, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> overload. I'm right there overload. with you. Though. I'm right there with you. Dude, it's it's just crazy to me, man. And what's even more crazy to me, bro? People are more obsessed with like the Kardashians and pop culture and stuff like that, to where they have no idea that this is moving forward, whether you know it or not. Type shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, dude, when I tell people I work in IT, they're like literally clueless as to like what I tell them. Like, oh, can you fix my printer? Yeah, you know, and even at work, bro, like the users sometimes, like, dude, genuinely, like, can't even open, can't even hit, click the start menu. Like, you know what I mean? Yes. I mean, they might be older. They might, sometimes it's the young people, bro. Dude. No, like, I'm definitely, like... It's like, the, the, <sighs> if you aren't in the technology game or you're not familiar with technology or, like, you genuinely have no clue what the hell is being innovated right now, you definitely need to get dude, your mind no. in the game because, bro, it's moving on with or without It you. is. I had, I had that problem with, um... <laughs> I had one of those oh shit I'm getting old moments with the uh, the newer like apple sauces or like the baby food in those little pouches. Oh, it's with like the a little screw off lid. Yeah, it looks weird on top. But like the first time I saw it, I was literally like, "What do I do with this? You know, like how do I how do I eat it? Like it was a like, quick like." Bro, you have what Google on? Yeah, what do you want to send me? I ain't sending you shit. You said you wanted me to pull up something. Pull up biohacking. Or no, pull up Earth. Um, Earth's like uh, crowded. Dude, that scared me. I thought someone, dude, because we're talking about hacking. I thought someone remoted into my computer because that's what I do. Yeah. But it was just the browser. So I was tripping out. I was like, dude, did we just get com mission compromised? Right. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, we're, oh we're talking about some stuff right now. They Bro, don't pull up, pull up um, Earth, like uh, space junk. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm curious. And dude, it's like real time. Yeah, there's no lag right now. I love this. For the two viewers watching, this is this is great for you guys. So this is, uh, Shout out to you guys. CGI. Like what? Like images? Dude, okay, so essentially it's like a zoomed out picture of Earth, but like there's a bunch of shit around it, so you can't really see inside Earth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. No, go up, go up. It's like the fourth picture on the right. No, go up the very top row. It's the fourth picture going from left to right. No, then no one next to it. No, it's the right. Up. Which one? Up to the right. So the next to the one you just chose, to the right of the one you just chose. Dude, they go to the very fucking top. Dude, I think Language, bro. Oh, you chose it? <laughs> yeah. uh, it is a lag. Yeah, that's the one, bro. <laughs> Damn you, Periscope. I've been trying to get people on your freaking platform for so long, and this is how you do me. On my own show. Okay, can you like blow up that picture by any chance? Go to right click, open picture, new tab. <laughs> you fucking noob. You user. Dude, you know what's crazy? The drug community and IT community call their people users. That, yeah, that's true. They do. But yeah, all that. So let me show Justin. So you know who else does that? Facebook. Oh, that's IT, like computer technology. Oh, shit, damn it. I thought I was coming up. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, I don't. Howdy, what happened, bro? Did you see it? Yeah, right there. Are they seeing this too? Yeah, that's on Periscope. You see that? Yeah. So it's like, those are all the satellites and stuff like that. That's, how it, that's what they say. But I doubt it. But I mean, like, half of those are, like, the size of this Dude, room. they're all alien no cameras, story. and we're all on a human Wait TV up. show right now. We're on the Truman Show. Yep. Channel dude. T Show. The Channel T Room. Have you show. seen Truman Show? Yeah, dude. I love that movie. Dude, isn't it crazy how, like, okay, remember how the... Nope! It's, we're we're live Ali? right now. Don't... No. We're live! We're... Okay. It's Ali. Is that Ali? Oh, hold on. Let him in. Let him let in. in. Hold up. We're, uh, we're hold up, hold up. You've all Wait met. Boys. You've all met this lovely soul. Um, Did you just interrupt a podcast, bro? But we opened it just for you. No, you better sit down. We just yeah, opened the door for you, bro. Oh, Wait, 
take over for a second. I kind of have to go to the bathroom. All so. right, we'll use this as an Justin. Welcome, Mr. <laughs> Justin. Good. This is uh, this is uh, Saint Croix Junior. <laughs> oh, bless you, hot. Oh. Wait, no, seriously? You want me to sit down? Like, yeah, I'll be here in five minutes. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Shit. What's up, guys? This is Justin. Welcome, Mr. Justin. How are you, sir? Pretty good, Dude, man. You're looking beautiful. I had to hire my uh, my stunt double. Oh, you have the Jackson pendant. There we go. Shouts out, Jackson. You already know, only the real Justin wears the pendant. Yes, sir. Bro. How you doing, man? It's a blessing to this see you. This place looks really familiar. Dude, um, it's your first time here, though. I don't think I've ever been here. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. Who are you guys? Have you seen Fernando? <laughs> that thing is fucking tight. Yeah, Fernando's the man. Dude, the periscope is like... How's it looking on OBS? OBS is good. Can't even do it anymore. There we go. Oh! Like that one? Hey, there you go! You speak fucking Zimbabwean, my guy. There you go. Swahili, Swahili. You know what I just said? No. You know what I just said? I said, I am the real Justin. Get on my level, bitch. Get on my level, yeah. yeah Get on, on my, my level, level, yeah. yeah I'm on my level, yeah. yeah. I'm on my level, yeah. yeah. Damn, these are some nice ass microphones, bro. We could do some like what's up? Straight singing, but these are nice. What are these? The SM, SM seven Bs, seven Bs. Sure. Yeah. Like my girl's titties. <laughs> oh! I got more for days. Oh, I got oh, some oh, more oh, for you. Okay, I need you to repeat that statement. <clears throat> hey man, what is this? It was a question followed by a statement. Just, whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, whatever layout you want, I'll follow. Hey man, this is some sick ass. I can't even do it anymore, bro. Just say the last part. Just like my. Just All right, like here we go. Here we go. All right. Yo, what kind of mic is this, man? It's a Shure SM7B. SM7B, huh? Yeah, bro, the best in the game. That's tight. Yeah, it's tight. So, uh, I don't like talking about my girlfriend's tits online. It's kind of weird. Dude, I had the reggae you horn ready, bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just like my girl's titties. <laughs> I hate you, but that was set up. So Dude, you have no <laughs> idea, bro. <laughs> The horn was right, ready to go. That was fucking. Fu when I heard the horn, I just it just tickled my funny bone. Every time I hear that horn, it's just like a comedy, bro. Like it's the that horn sound in music now is like the fucking new like joke. When you hear that shit, you already know it was ghost produced by your boy. Yeah, Justin on the beat, dog. Just incredible. Just isn't that uh... the DJ? Like DJ Justin. Oh, I'm incredible? thinking of it's incredible. That's Nick Cannon's production company. Oh, it's incredible. It's incredible. Fucking Nick Cannon, man. That guy. Wild and Out. I love that guy, dude. I went to a taping of Wild and Out. Shut up. Yeah, I swear. <laughs> it was Tyga and Laura. I could. Kisik, oh my god, you were there for that. And it was uh, Chris Paul after Chris Paul and some other basketball player. Um, my stunt double has a few words. Okay, thank you, thank you, Justin. There we go. You the man. Thank you for your time. Um, no, I'm just going to say what's up, man, and, and uh, just make sure my stunt double's doing the job. You know what I mean? He's doing the job. He's doing the job, right, huh? Guys. Yeah. SpaceX. What about SpaceX? Uh, oh, dude. Let's talk about it. I'll be back. You can stay in here. Can't get it. Let's talk about SpaceX real quick. Bro, okay. just sit down for a bit. Yeah. bro. You already interrupted the room. All right, all right. Okay. Now, now I'm in this. Now I'm in this. I can actually see the time. So... Bro, what's where where can people find you on Instagram and social medias and stuff like that? Um it's on your porn website. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we uh, dude, we actually people. introduced them. Yeah, we were pretty about sick, that bro. Porn. It's pre honestly great that you brought that up. You gotta get my approval, bro. <laughs> you do stun doubles, you don't do porn. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um Wow, it's just full house today. What's good? What's good? What's good? <laughs> Where can people find you on social media, bro? Yeah, any whomst. Um, 
So I can be found on, uh, I believe, I think it's every social, like, uh, can I can't speak. I believe it's on every network as uh, Sangfroid Music, S-A-N-G-F-R-O-Y-D, M-U-S-I-C. I was going to say music, but I guess I'll spell that out too, just in case. Um, if not, then it's just at Sangfroid. And, yeah. At Sangfroid. Yeah. Um, for sure, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. You can find me there. Oh, and Spotify. So, yes, no LinkedIn. Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, we're good. We got I got some, distracted. We got some friends here. We're a little excited now. It's okay. We'll get okay, back so on you, you got his Twitter. You got his Instagram. When is the album? Oh, you don't even know when. We can't release that date. We can't talk about who's, who's releasing it. We got some previews, so... Um, if you're watching this after tuning in a little bit, uh, it'll be live on YouTube in a little bit. Um, so, what about like uh, other upcoming projects? Are you performing live soon? Anywhere, anyone in SoCal can catch you, or anywhere else? Um, sorry, say that one more time. What about like upcoming events? Um, any, any bookings? At the moment, no. Um, I'm trash. I know. Get the fuck <laughs> off my show, bro. I'm taking a little break at the moment. So, uh, yeah, like I literally, like I think I only played, yeah, I played uh, two shows with just since uh, the beginning of the year. So I've definitely like just kind of like taken a lot of time off just to like work on the album, uh, taking less time at work, um, you know. So I'm ready. That's good. Uh, no, that's yeah. Good. Once my once the grinding. album comes out, my it's boy's all, grinding, bro. It's all um, it's all live based too. So I mean, a lot of the album is all structured about around being performed live. Um, so I'm hoping to do a lot of more like l the live shows. No, um, I don't know like how I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm definitely like still DJing too, and it's kind of hard doing a live setup at every single venue just because. Dude, I Justin just, like, performs live, guys. Like, how and... do you? What What do you even? What do I do? No, like, I'm just saying that's crazy to me, bro. Like, that, I, I'm proud of you, bro. You got to make sure you catch him live sometime because genuinely, like, you will not be disappointed. Like, this man is very talented. I want to thank you for coming on the show, bro. Thank you. Um, yes. Uh, oh, actually, shit. Uh, on the 27th. Wow. Why, why have I not thought about saying this? I am so sorry, guys. Um, if you are curious about... Let me grab my phone. Like, oh, God. Um, if you're curious about hearing, like, a 45-minute preview of my album i am playing live on the radio on the 27th Ooh! yeah let me grab you that congratulations really bro thank you um let me grab that info really quick for you yes i'm playing on kxlu uh 88.9 fm yeah 89.5 FM? 88.9 FM. 88.9 uh, FM on what date? The 27th. On the 27th of April? A, yes. April 27th, 88.9 FM. Catch Mr. Sang Freud. I have, I have my time, too. Um, I just need to track down that email. <laughs> When's What's the time? I'm finding it. There it is. Okay, cool. Um, I am 11 to 11.45. A.M.? P.M.? P.M. April 27th, 11 a.m. to 12.45 p.m. 23 to 23.45, for those of you on that time. <laughs> oh, 11 p.m. to 12.45 a.m. No. That's yeah, the, 23. That's like 12 hours right there. Are you no. Music? <laughs> 11 p.m. 11 p.m. To 12 a.m. is an hour and a half or whatever. You said 11 to 12.45, right? 11 p.m. At night. To 12.45 p.m. A.m. A.m. He's right. He's right. Uh, no. 11, 11 no, comes before. 12 p.m. is the noon, bro. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you're playing 11 a.m. At, At night. No, bro. You're what? 12 <laughs> noon is 12 p.m. 11 no, noon, so when the sun is in the middle of the sky. I know what you're saying. <laughs> when the sun is in the middle of the, the sun, sky. It's going to be dark. When you play. When I play, it's going to so be dark. It's 11 p.m. P.m. To 12.45 a.m. <laughs> 11 to 11.45. Oh, 11.45. Yes. P.m. Yes. 
God! 20 I was the one who was wrong this whole time. 23 okay. o'clock Sang to 23 Freud 45. Music. Sang Freud Music on Twitter and Instagram. Catch him on April 27th on 88.9 FM, 11 to 11.45 PM in the evening time when the sun is all the way down and the moon is somewhere in procession. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, though, to be <laughs> I'm honest sorry, with you. sorry, bro, dude. I was No, so you're off. good. Dude, you, like, had me, like, tripping. I was, I was like, tripping. I think it's said dude. 12. <laughs> I think it's said 12, bro. No. That's why I said that 23 to 23.45. So, you heard it You heard, you heard. heard it here first. This is Mr. Sangfroid's first podcast. Dude, I hope you don't forget about us, bro. Uh, never. I hope My I hope platform I is your platform. Thank I want you. you, whenever you need, you know, promo or whatever it may be, bro, you are more than welcome to come on my show. Thank you. Straight up. I, I had a blast. I don't know yeah, about you. Yeah, no, I did, too. I hope. I hope um, we can come back and do more. I see fun. some great, great things going for you, bro. Thank you. And I wish nothing but the best for you. I hope you wish the same for me, bitch. I do. And yeah, I, uh, I've, I've already seen the growth, so dude, I'm excited. So, um, let's get it going. Your Thank channel you. 12? Channel We're 12. Channel, channel 12. <laughs> episode 12, right? 88.9 FM. <laughs> episode 12, right? Yeah. This is episode, episode 12, 12 channel yeah. I mean, you're like 12 you're number 12. One growth. plus two is three, bro. Three is a magic number. Three, three, three. Did you add effects to my voice? No, it like, sounds dude, like you do. I keep hearing like songs or something. Like he kept like he was like, "Dude, are you are you sure you're hearing voices?" But, no, like I'm hearing like songs. There's like a little. Uh, do you hear it? Put this on. Put I have the music. same thing going yeah. to my. You ears. don't hear it. There's music. It's the punkers, bro. It's like it's no, like I'm catching a radio frequency or something. Like it's like every once in a while I hear like a little like song you guys are making me think i'm crazy i know i'm i know i'm hearing things right now <laughs> put these on put these on it's very faint tell me i'm not crazy oh my god you're not that's really weird dude we've been playing noises this whole broadcast bro Have you? moaning and everything dude. bro and lucas had to ruin it I don't want to say it, bro. Shit, dude, like I legit thought I was going yeah, like bro. crazy because he's like, "Are we, you okay?" We got you, ass, dude. He was like, "Welcome yeah. to Channel T, Episode Twelve. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like, dude, make sure you comment, was going make sure crazy. you subscribe, make sure you visit Justin's page, make sure you get a load on for what we got in store for you guys. Mr. Justin will be on here anytime he wants. I mean, not anytime he wants, but like you know, anytime if I have an open want. spot, it's his. Anytime you know what I'm saying? So make sure you take a look at his stuff. Thank you guys again. Happy Good Friday to all my Cath Catholics. And pass over to all my Hebrews, because they're the real Jews. <laughs> and that's it. Have a yeah. great Thank you. weekend, was, everybody. Thank you, Justin, bro. Let's party um, out to some music Those real of quick. you who are new, if I brought any of you to this, uh, keep returning. Keep watching his stuff. He's good. He's fun.